Post game of Amherst victory over York, 1916, the final. The winning coach, Sean Woods, is here. Okay, first of all, that was one of the greatest lacrosse games I've ever seen in my life. Just talk about that, the emotion of that game. Uh, it was an incredible game. Uh, two great teams going at it, two really hardworking teams. I was really proud of the effort that both teams displayed. They just they just never quit. I mean, that was really anyone's game till the bitter end, and I uh, just love being a part of it. Obviously, York's an incredible team. They're very, very well coached, especially on the defensive side. For us, So for us to have that success and, and 19 goals is, is almost astonishing, but our guys played really well. You know, I want to ask you the same question I actually just asked Brandon Childs, the York uh, college head coach. For somebody like me to call the game, great game, loved it, loved watching it. For somebody watching at home, wa- you know, great game, loved it. You have to manage the game. Mm-hmm. So you have to kind of take that out and put your CEO hat on. Mm-hmm. How do you do that in a game like this with all the emotions surrounding it? I, I feed off the energy of our team. We, we have fun. Like I think when we have this loose energy about us, the, the guys are jumping around on the sidelines or cheering each other on. I, I just become part of that like equation. And, and I think our team does an incredible job of everyone's involved, whether you're on the bench or you're on the field. I mean, everybody's involved in the game and the energy is just electric. So I just actually feed off our players' energy and become part of the equation. Game balls, you told me you gave it out to two guys today. Yeah, rarely do we give out two game balls, but um, Matt Adams was just electric. I, th- I thought he scored some really juice goals that got us going and, and stopped their runs, but but Tanner Krummenacher just had an incredible weekend. He had 16 ground balls as an attackman, which is just unheard of, and he also was delivering in points. I think he had five yesterday, six today. So those two guys just had a great weekend overall. On defense, I think it was Laverty that actually had a huge cause turnover late mm-hmm. and played just well all, all game long. So you're missing Gonzalez, you're missing Rabini now from yesterday's game. Injuries, but still, this performance today. Yeah, next man up. I mean, that's our mentality. And we've got a lot of, a lot of players that don't play on game day. They're very good players, so, and they work hard in practice. So they know if something does happen and their name gets called, they'll be ready to go. But really proud of Lawson. I mean, that number four kid for York, is he's an All-American type caliber player. And I thought Lawson just did a really good job against him. He just did a good job in, the, in transition as well. Our defense as a whole just played really well. Today. I mean, you give up, you know, it was 16 goals, and you think, you know, did we play well hmm. defensively? But against that team, that's a pretty good defensive effort. Talk about the face-off battle between Cop and Fasciaponte. That was one of the funnest things to watch. <laughs> wasn't it just like they were going back? It was like a heavyweight bout, and they're two very good face-off players. And um, I, I was really proud of our guy. I was really proud of their guy. I mean, they just they, they put a lot of effort into their craft, and I was just impressed by both sides. What did you learn about your team this weekend? Resilient. We're driven. We care a lot about each other, and uh, it shows on the field and off. Sounds good. Sean, best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. it. That's it. Post game. Amherst defeats York 1916 on GoMustangSports.tv.